Hi everyone, today is a really quick video because if you can hear it in my voice, I'm just full of cold and feeling a bit rough today, but I just want to let you know I haven't disappeared from YouTube. I've just been in a bit of a sewing slump this month um, of September since going back to work after the summer holidays. So my sewing output hasn't been that high, but one thing I have been doing is what I'm wearing and it's half finished. And you'll see when I show you the full length shot why it's half finished. So the pattern is McCall's 6884. Yeah. And I have made the, I thought it was a three quarter length sleeve, but it turns out it's basically at elbow length. Now I shorten the bodice by an inch because I'm short waisted, I'm 5'3". Um, so I also shortened the sleeve by an inch as well. Now I did see someone say, there was a stylist or something, saying that something like a sleeve length, sleeve length should probably finish at the area, or even like a jacket or something like that, should finish at the area of your body where you're probably slimmest. So as if I stand up, because it then finishes at my waist, can you see that so I have that sort of hourglass shape and so they finished there. So I did initially thought it would be a three quarter length sleeve, but it isn't, it's just an elbow length sleeve. But actually, I think that's okay. Now this is a sort of wearable toil because I just wanted to see what it was going to be like. It's a cheap jersey that I bought off a Facebook de stash from BST Fabrics over the bank holiday. I think it was August bank holiday weekend. They had a live sale. And so I think it was like two pounds a meter. I bought about three meters. So I've got quite a bit left over. Um, it's like a polyester jersey, it's not natural fibres, but obviously now the weather is cooling off um, with it being the next season, it's not summer anymore, so I can bear a sleeve and I can bear it to not be completely cotton and breathable because I need that bit of extra warmth. Now it calls for a narrow hem, the only thing is it has stretched out, so I don't know if you can see, slightly wavy, just pointing to my cleavage, slightly wavy all the way around, but I don't think it's too bad. Now I have literally just put this on because I was just wearing jeans and a t-shirt. So there's no necklace, I haven't, you know, I'm not wearing any shoes even. I've literally just taken my socks off, but I thought I'd just show you what I've been making. Now in order to have full coverage at the front, when I was fitting it, I just pulled each side down pulled it to as tight as how I would like at the front and then I've just clipped it with some of those like wonder um these these here sorry it's through the barcode like the wonder the wonder clips that people use for bag making and it's really good if you've got a stretchy fabric and you don't want to use pins because then they pop out. So I did that but then I had a slight problem. So I'm now gonna just switch and film in a different angle so you can see the full length and so I'm not like ducking down on the camera. So, oh, and this has a tie belt. So it's a faux wrap. So it's, um, it's like goes right around the side and then like wraps around. So if you get a gust of wind, you've got a full panel there just to cover you. Now you make two ties, so one's a lot longer than the other, and so that actually wraps around the back, which is quite nice, because it's in, I've got a sway, I mean it's black so you can't really see, but I've got a sway back. So because of that, that actually brings that in nicely. So you could either then just tie that into a knot, um, or just tie that into a bow. Now because one tie is fixed, um, you can't really pull it tighter as such because you're not pulling it across the front, it's literally just pulling it across the back. So it cinches in the back of it, you can't do anything about pulling it in the front. I mean, maybe you could wrap that round the front, but I think it looks better wrapped to the back. It has some ruching here, it has some, yeah, you're not gonna see that behind in black, but this section here, um, it has gathers, so it gives a little bit of ruching effect across the stomach area. Now if I back up, you hopefully will see what the issue is. Now, somebody said that asymmetric patterns are all on trend, and I did buy one in my recent pattern haul, a new look pattern where it is intentional that it falls like that. This isn't supposed to be asymmetric, but basically because I've pulled each side tighter to get the coverage here, it has then made this bit sit lower. So if I stand at the side, you'll see it's, I mean, 
a probably good three inches longer at the front than what it should be. Basically, I should it should go up like this, so it should then be even all the way around. If I was to move that all up, 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 then this bit would be really gaping open. So I guess what I should have done really, and for next time, is to take the excess out of this neckline here. Um, and, I don't know, the, I was just thinking like a full bust adjustment on a smaller size perhaps, I'm not sure. I cut the bust size according to what it said on the packet, so I cut a 14 from the waist up. Um, and that was for a bust uh, finish size, I think of like 37 and a half inches. And so it's fine around the bust, but obviously there's that bit there which is gaping. So whether I would have just taken the excess out, these are to me, pull it down, but then of course, so what I'm going to do, because I did try and gather a bit more up here to hitch it up, but I can't gather another three inches because that's too much. But I do have a chalk hem marker, and I have done a tutorial on how I've used the chalk hem marker to get a straight hem. I'll put that in the description box below if you want to check out that video. But what I will do is, as it's black, use that chalk hem to mark around it, chop off, and then just do a small hem all the way around so that will even it up. So I'm nearly done. I did do a, I'm just trying to think, oh, on the sleeves, because I do carry a bit of extra weight up here, I did do a three eighths of an inch seam allowance on this bit here on the actual sleeve, but everything else was five eighths of an inch. The pattern that I bought, it was a bit annoying because I think previously, that pattern has been with Free of the Magazine and all the sizes were included, but when I bought it, because I just bought it from a pattern site, only half the sizes were included, so it only went up to a size 14. So it was fine for the top half, but then I had to kind of guess and grade out from the waist and the hips downwards, but I don't think it's too big. 14 would definitely have been too tight, so it's literally just seemed to chop that even and then do it. The sleeves aren't the neatest, um, in terms of like, the gathering, how they've been put in, because I just, I was a bit impatient and just wanted to whiz it through and do as much on my machine so all I had left to do was the hemming, so most of it was done. Originally this dress was going to be made up in this fabric. Um, so I was still thinking, but I thought I just want a bit rather than cut straight into this because they had this sort of cheap fabric, I thought I would see how it looked in the black, and actually I quite like it in the black, but few minor errors like trying to do a narrow hem without stretching out the neckline and either taking in excess here or just next time do the same again and pull it to fit me and then just chop the bottom off because it's not going to be overly short so I think it will be fine. I'm going to leave this here for now and I'm going to cut you off early because my throat is giving out but I will be back on soon hopefully on, in better form with more to show you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.